hey guys, I'm gonna vote. No, you can't. It's and me, voter number 2012. You know, this just isn't possible. In fact, it could be, you know, you don't know exactly the consequences of you walking in there looking like that. Because what if they can't tell what your face looks like? You hand them your ID, you're about to get into this center, you're about to really do it, and because of what you're wearing, they're like, sir, we can't identify you. You can't. What's wrong with this? Oh, you mean this? Oh, yes. Yeah. I mean the, the disguise-esque apparel. Yeah. Do it. They need to know who we are and what we look like in this instance so that we can really make sure our vote is counted and that we are accounted for. Okay. All right, so I think I got all this so far. So I want to use blue or black ink. I want to come up with a plan for election day with or without my mother. I want to call people like my mother to tell them how to vote and how safely to vote. Uh, I want to make sure that I look like myself when I go to vote and not like somebody who's never worn a mask before. And I also want to use my my old signature, the signature I've always used, not my 2020 signature, not the new one I've Wanted to try out on you. Finally, after I've done all this, the one thing left to do is snap a selfie with my ballot. I'm going to put my ballot up and I'm going to take a picture of who I voted for and I'm going to share it with everybody. I'm uh-huh. going to share my ballot picture and I'm going to put it up on the internet. Stop. You can't. You, you just, you need to understand that is like sacrilege. This is an intimate process between you, your idea of democracy, and that ballot. And, you know, if you really want to show the world how much you care about voting, just take a picture with your sticker that says, I voted specifically for these reasons.